here from Draw So Cute. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw Spider Man. So let's get started. With Spider Man, we're going to first start by drawing a big curve for the top of his head. So, about right here, we're going to start by drawing a big curve like that that goes all the way to the other side, like that. And from this curve right here, let's bring it back down right here. like that and same thing with the other side so continue this line and bring it back in like that and connect it like that oh that's a big head right <laughs> so when you're drawing this head draw this big curve and then in here as you notice it's not a perfect circle it's slightly squashed and at this bottom right here it comes in a little bit more for his head, for his face. So that's the basic shape of our Spider-Man's head. And let's go in and draw some uh, details for his face. So with Spider-Man, it's just two huge eyes. So right here, we're gonna draw a big curve that goes up. Well, let's start this side first so that um, the left side, uh, the reason you'd wanna draw the left side is so that you won't cover uh, the right side Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm delirious right now. Start with the left side so that your hand won't cover it when you're drawing the right side. So right here, let's draw a big curve that comes down like that. And let's connect it with another big curve. So come down and connect it like that for his eye. So now let's draw that same thing with the other side. So see, by drawing this side, we can move over and our hand won't block what we're uh, drawing and we can see it better. So from this point right here, just kind of come over to the point right there so you know that's where you should start your other line. And if you want it, you can just kind of guide it right there and see about right there is where you should kind of end it. So go up with a curve like that and let's just bring it back all the way to that point right there. So follow the kind of follow the outside line and bring it back in like that. And let's go back in and draw um, the same thing right here for the inside. So come out, curve like that, just following the outside line and bring it back in. Same thing other side, so let's just follow that, like that, and bring it back in. And let's shade this part in, like that. So obviously, I can't do Draw So Cute Eyes with Spider-Man, because that would be really weird, right? So we're just going to stick with these good old Spider-Man eyes, because they're awesome. And there's no need to change them. <laughs> So bear with me as I shade this part in right here. So one more part right here. Shade it in. And many of you ask why I use this uh, Sharpie marker. And the reason right here is a Sharpie. It's because it's a permanent, uh, it uses permanent ink. So I don't have to worry about it smearing or running as I draw. And I can, it's very reliable and also it's very dark so it works really well for the videos so okay so now that we got the eyes in let's start to weave um, the pattern in his head so right here find the center about right here put a point right there and we're going to draw angle line that comes down exactly the same on both sides like that and right here Draw a line that comes down, same thing on the other side, same height, and connect it with a straight line. So this is where we're going to start building our um, web from. <laughs> so from this line right here, this point, we're going to draw a curve, I mean angle line that comes down, same thing on the other side like that. So everything is pretty symmetrical on both sides, so it makes it a lot easier. So from this line, let's go all the way up. So let's go all the way straight up like that. And right here, from this point right here, we're gonna draw a curve. 
comes out like that. So I hope you caught that. So come from here. So right here, curve, it comes down to where his eye was like that. And let's draw some more lines that come all the way from the center. So imagine there should be another one about right here, like that, and another one, and another one, like that. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So come out like that, another one, and one more, like that. So it's very even. And now that we can start to draw the curves. So right here, right here we're gonna draw. So put a point right there and imagine it kind of going over. So you kind of know where to end your curves. So it makes it a lot easier, like that. Oops, well, kind of worked, right? <laughs> So let's continue from here and start to weave our curves. So go up like that. So this one would go up like that. And up. And one more like that. And from here, same thing. So find this point. Come down. So kind of like that should be where it ends. And curve it like that as well. So same thing, one more curve like that. So about right here. So curve it up like that. You should be see one more right there for some details. Like that. Ooh. There. There's Spider-Man. They're pretty cool, huh? We could do one more here if we wanted. So one more right here. And one more right there like that. So it's not so empty. And now we can start to draw his body. So right here, we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. That's for his uh, arm area, another one. And this arm, we're gonna draw a curve that comes out more like that. So see how this one angles down more? This one angles out because his hand is coming out a little bit more. And in here, where this point is, draw a line, curve line that comes down like that. So same thing where this point is, draw a line that comes down like that. So when I was drawing, sketching this, I was trying to make it very simple so it'd be easier to follow. So right here, put a point right there between these two lines and bring a line that comes down like that and curve it out. Like that. So this is one arm. Same thing, other side. Come to this point right there. And same thing like that. Angle it down and bring it line down for this arm. So let's work on this arm first. So let's continue this line. Bring it out. Oops. Like that. And bring this one out. And right here, we're going to start to draw his fingers. So just bear with me. We're going to curve it out for thumb. This side, curve it down for another, for his pinky, like that. And right here, come out. And two more fingers. So these fingers are just more kind of like an oval, like that, and one more. like that. So once again, don't give up. I know this is a little bit complicated. Just keep practicing and you'll definitely be able to draw this. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So right here, just draw a curve for his sleeve. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> and so with this arm right here, now we can go back in and draw his, um, <clears throat> excuse me, his body. So this arm right here, we're gonna save it for later because one of his feet kind of comes up. So right here, let's connect this like that and connect it like that. And let's draw this side. So come down like that. And right here where this line is, we're gonna draw a curve. This is where his knee is. So match, draw a curve that comes out like that and bring it in towards the center, dip it down, and come back up like that. 
find the center again, right here, put a point, and we're gonna curve it down like that. So continue this all the way, and we're gonna bring it out and make his draw his boot like that. And this part right here, we're gonna continue his leg for this side. So if you're not comfortable drawing this knee that comes up, you can just always draw the same thing on this side with his leg coming down. But with Spider-Man, he's pretty cool, right? He's always jumping all over the place. So right here, you'll continue this curve, come down like that. Right here, put a point, come down, and we're gonna come out and connect it for his other leg. And right here, let's just finish this curve and connect it like that. So now we can go in and draw his other arm. So this is a very simple arm. I just put it down so it wouldn't be so complicated because I could have his hand come up and holding another piece of web and, whoa, that would take all day, right? <laughs> so right here, let's continue this line down like that. Continue it down. So right here, we're just gonna draw his hands like that as if they're in a fist. Bring it in, very simple. Like that. And like that with a curve. And so now let's go in and draw some details. Um, right here, we can draw a curve for his boot and another curve for his boot. And let's not forget this sleeve. And in the center here, I'm going to draw the little spider for his logo. So just oval like that, and you shade it in, so it is black, and a longer oval. And now I'm going to switch over to a um, smaller Sharpie because my drawing is not that big. And so if I use the regular Sharpie, it's going to um, it's going to muddle everything. So I'm coming back in here with a smaller Sharpie. And let's draw some details. So like right here for his, um, the pattern for his hand. You're basically gonna follow, right here, follow the line of the outside. Same thing here. Just kinda, doesn't have to be perfect. I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's just, it'll, it'll look good, it'll look fine. <laughs> so just follow the outside, just draw some lines in here for the arm. And the trick here is now you can start weaving. So draw these curves that connect like that, all the way across. So like that. Just as long as it looks acceptable, right? You can't, I don't even know what that is, but it looks good. <laughs> so same thing right here. Let's draw, um, follow the outside line, cut in for this finger, the center like that. Same thing right here. Maybe one that goes in. And the same thing. Let's start drawing those curves. Just connect it with a curve. Maybe here. One. One more. Um, hmm. Curve. 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 And this one, because it's flipped the other way, we're going to go this way. Like that. And since this part looks empty, let's just draw our curve like that. See? There. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> and then right here for the center, we're going to draw a line that comes down. So find, kind of find the center. Draw a line that comes down like that. Same thing, other side. And one more. One more. And we're going to start the same thing. We're just going to weave it across like that. Going all the way, and hmm, like that. One, oops, there, and one more, like that. And now his feet. So same thing. Just follow the curve of the foot of the boot right here, kind of like that, and just keep weaving all the way across, like that. This is really cool. So same thing, follow the curve like that and weave across. It's just pretty neat to see it all come together like that. And in here with the spider, let's draw his um, legs. So right here, 
this part right here where the two ovals connect, we're going to draw like that. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. So one, two, like that. Another one comes out. Everything starts from right here and flares out like that. So you can make it darker. So come out like that. So same thing other side. Come out. One more up top. And the bottom right here. And one more leg like that. And last but not least, let's draw this uh, the web that comes out of his hand. So by right here, from where this would be shooting, we're going to draw a line that comes out like that. And one more like that. This is a very thin sharpie. And we're just going to draw just like this. And it's going to get wider and wider. And that's just basically the strand. And just follow the same curve like that. That's my version of Spider-Man's web. <laughs> so there. Hope you guys like this Spider-Man. Think he's pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos. See you later.